Hey guys, it's it's just Sid. Just just Sid. Just hanging out. Yeah, uh so as you know I recently went through my yarn stash and I untangled all of it that got tangled by my annoying little dog. And I found a pattern. Bah, bah, bah. <laughs> So I used to get a yarn box subscription, but after the like the second box came, I discovered that it was actually not that good. <laughs> and it's for a necklace. A knitted necklace. Yeah. Um, it's really ugly. But it it came with this little tree pendant and I have this big yarn and like it's like kind of smooth and weird. It's like tube-like got a tube like quality I thought it would be good for this project this pattern um, I think it'll knit up quickly it's just eye cords that you seam together and wrap around your neck and put a tree pendant on so I think this will go quick um, especially with this big yarn size 13 needles uh, I just thought it was a really ugly pattern I don't know, but I'm gonna knit it anyway. Although, I literally don't need the pack because it just says cast on three stitches and work an eye cord for 35 yards. Which, I mean, any old idiot could have figured that out. I don't need you. Get out of here. You may have noticed the quality of these videos has gone up exponentially, which is amazing. So I was having a really hard time getting it from my iPhone to PC because iPhones are just, oh, why? But I figured it out. I figured it out. It was two stupid settings that I had to change. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for high quality bids. <laughs> Let's get started with this, shall we? This urine is very soft. Um, very tube-like, as I said. Uh, it looks like it itself has been, like, knitted somehow. Like, there's little, like, V's in there. Um, so that's a bit weird. Uh, I got it on clearance, I think, at Hobby Lobby one time, because no one would remember. Ooh. I really don't like how this looks in the eye cord. It's really defined yarn. It doesn't, it's not all halo-y. Well, it's like got a little bit of a halo, but, like, you can, like, see all the bees and stuff and I, I think that's a cool effect with this yarn. <laughs> if you don't know how to knit an eye cord and you know how to knit, all you do, cast on like three to five stitches, whatever weight yarn goes with the needles you're using, and then you just knit the row. Like that, keep knitting the row, knit the row, knit the row, knit the row, and then when you're done, instead of turning it, you slide it down your double point. That's why you're doing it on double point, and then you take your other needle and you just do it again. And then it creates like a tube instead of like a all you do is knit. You knit every single one. You just slide it down. It makes a tube. <laughs> We're learning things. A lot of people are really surprised that A, I knit and not crochet. Because a lot of people think that crochet is a lot easier than knitting. But I have to disagree. I think it just clicks for some people's brains and other brains it just does not. Uh, same with crochet. Not everyone can get it. I tried crocheting a long time ago, and I made a bunch of um, just chain necklaces because I was a little kid. And I think I made a pot holder, but it wasn't it wasn't even or anything. It was just a rough square. And I was kind of uh, fiber arts aren't really for me. But then I discovered knitting. The way it happened, my friend started knitting. I lost the stitches. Uh, my friend started knitting, and then she's like, "Can okay, I start knitting?" I taught myself from the internet, and I was like, "Dang, that's really cool." I I wouldn't have thought of doing that. Like, what? Um, 
She's like, I just got these like cheap needles and some some yarn. And taught myself how to knit and then this headband that I'm wearing right now. I'm like, ooh, dang. So then I started knitting. And I watched a lot of YouTube videos, YouTube tutorials. And I just taught myself how to knit. When I tell, I enter, I enter some of my knitting into the fair. And when I tell old ladies that I taught myself how to knit, they're like, what? What now? How'd you do that? Wow, that's amazing. These children on the internet, you know, learn so many things. Old ladies love me. And I'm not, I'm by no means the best knitter ever, but, you know, I know the basics. I just keep going, you know? Just keep getting better and better with every project that I do. So yeah, you can do anything that you set your mind to. Just watch a bunch of YouTube videos about how to do it. <laughs> wow, my chest looks really blotchy on camera. <laughs> Holy heck. Like... Okay, so I golf. I'm on my high school's golf team. And last year I went to districts, district golf. Um, and our coach got us like v-neck shirts like this. It went down like that far. And it made a tan, a really dark V tan right there. <laughs> and it still hasn't gone away. That was, that was, that was a year ago. And it's still there. No, not a year ago. That was the spring. That was the spring. But it still hasn't gone away. It's been months. <laughs> Am I a sophisticated lady with my knitted necklace? With the pendant? <laughs> this is so freaking weird. Why? Why would you knit a necklace? It's just not. Good. I guess it's just not my style. Maybe somebody's like, oh, dang, I really like that. But I'm like, mm, no thanks. Where are we at, boys? We're at a choker. I can stop now. <laughs> I make it a choker. This pattern tells me to go for 35 yards. Oh, they want me to knit <laughs> for 105 feet. That's longer than my freaking measuring tape. <laughs> I'm not going for that long. Like, that's not weird, but <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm not, I'm not doing that much. I'll just kind of play it by ear. Three freaking wraps with this thing. See? See that, ladies? You got three wraps with that necklace. I ain't doing that, especially because I'm not going to wear it. Like, what the frick? It's just going to sit in my closet forever. Not even in my closet. In like the little corner of my closet where I keep random crap like that. <laughs> Such fashion. Much Vogue. <laughs> Somebody call Vogue like right now because this is going to be the new thing. <laughs> yes. Just really skinny scarves. That's what this is. Just a really skinny scarf. Yeah. It will not keep you warm, except for right here. <laughs> you know, I've got a really bad nose whistle. I always have. And it's especially noticeable when I'm being just quiet like this. It's kind of driving me insane. <laughs> like, and my mom's got a ton of clocks up in this house. So if, so if I'm just really quiet for long enough, I can hear my nose whistling the air conditioning running and then like the clocks come in <laughs> so I don't like to just sit in silence that much because it will drive me crazy <laughs> so bad, but it's like the arctic the freaking arctic winds in my nostrils you see that <laughs> you hear that This is 
This is regular yarn. It's like twisted. It's like the fibers are twisted together to make the fi to make the yarn. But this one, it's just straight. There are no twists in it. It's weird. And if you look really closely at it, you probably can see it. Probably won't focus. No. Probably not. No. No focus. Okay. But if you look at it really close like this, <laughs> that looks stupid. But you can see that it's knitted together. This yarn has already been knitted together. <gasps> Conspiracy theory. Yeah, boy, this is going freaking good. There we go, boy. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yes, bud. Look at this beauty frame, man. That is gorgeous. I am definitely wearing this for this in my closet day. Oh, holy oh, gee. This is middle, this is middle aged lady. She a snack, girl. She a snack, man. Like, doesn't this look like something like a mom would wear? Like, you know, you know those moms wear that stuff like this? Or like a grandma? So anyway, thank you for coming on this journey with me. It was, oh, look how shiny it is. This journey of self-discovery. And, you know, I started with no necklace, and at the end, I got one. Look at that. So anyway, I'll see you later. I'm sorry.